Caitlin Tui is the best runner in college track and field right now. And there's hardly any room to argue about it. Through the 2023 outdoor season, it's been almost a full calendar year since she has lost a collegiate race. And in that time, she has laid down the gauntlet like we've never seen before. She's won national championships in the outdoor 5K, followed it up with cross country, and then completed the double for the indoor 3K and 5K. And she's won NCAA championships in every event that she has entered for the past three seasons. The GOAT debate is well underway because the names in the record books appear to be the only names that seem to have a chance of beating her. So here's Caitlin's case for the greatest collegiate runner of all time. And this is her case as it stands right now. Because remember, she's not even done competing yet. First things first, the title of the GOAT is normally something debatable. But when Caitlin was in high school, she didn't really leave any room for a debate. As someone who actually coached against her in high school, she wasn't just on another level. She was in another world all by herself. And at a high school meet, she was just racing the record books and everyone else was just happy to watch her do it. And when it comes to national records, in high school track, she set four of them. And that's not including anything she did in cross country. Caitlin wasn't just winning more than everyone else. She was running faster than anyone else had ever run in almost every event that she attempted. And her track record of winning was unmatched. Not even mentioning track anymore. She was the Nike Cross Nationals champion three years in a row. And she was the Gatorade Female Athlete of the Year as a sophomore in high school. Notice I didn't say anything about a sport. Because as far as they were concerned, she was the best athlete in the entire nation, regardless of sport in their eyes. And after all that, she was the brightest of five-star recruits who could write her own ticket to any collegiate program. But she chose NC State because the Lady Wolfpack had been building a distance running powerhouse for some time before she even got there. They finished fifth at the Division I Cross Country National Meet the year before she joined the team. And they returned several of their top runners when she was a freshman, which is why it's no surprise that that year they won the national championship in cross country. And Caitlin was not the fastest runner on that team when they did it. But that was then, and this is now, because Caitlin is obliterating her high school PRs. And that means something when you're the high school national record holder. As a freshman, she didn't have any individual event wins. And now she doesn't lose whenever the gun goes off. And in case you missed it, she's back in the habit of breaking records because she broke the NCAA indoor 1500 meter record and the mile record and the indoor 3K record. And the only reason why her indoor 5K national championship is a disappointment is because at altitude, she didn't break the national record. Caitlin was actually the national leader in four events in the same season. If that's not GOAT status, I don't know what is. As a high school coach, I remember the father of one of my athletes rushing into the stands and saying out loud, did I miss it? Did I miss her run? To clarify, this father had a son on the team, but he was out of breath because he was looking forward to watching someone else's child compete. Caitlin Tui is that good. In fact, she is that great. And considering she hasn't lost to anyone in college for almost a year now, I'm starting to wonder if she ever will. Caitlin is still polishing off her track and field resume, but she appears to have figured out this college running thing. And she's recapturing her form, the same form she had in high school, as the greatest runner that we have ever seen at her level, and possibly the greatest one that we will ever see again. 